Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and darrenoneill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on CentOS 7 using the Nginx web server. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to have CentOS 7 installed, you'll need to have Nginx installed, and you'll also need to have MariaDB installed on your system. I'll post links to my previous videos to show you how to do that below, and I'll also post a link to where you can get all the commands for this video so you can just copy and paste as we go along. Okay, so I'm going to download PHP version 7.1.0 and we'll use this with our Nginx installation. So I'm just going to open up a terminal here and I have a few commands on the clipboard and I want to copy and paste these in and again I'll leave these on a page where you can just pick them up and copy and paste them into your machine as you follow along. So the first thing I want to paste in here is a wget command to get a repo that we need. So you just need to make sure you have a sudo here, which I didn't, so I now have it here. So sudo wget and we'll point to this URL and I'll click return. If you're prompted, just pop in your password and hit enter. Perfect. So we can see that looks like it's done for us now. So I'm just going to type in one more command here to make sure that the repo is installed. And it's RPM space minus capital UVH and then the Remy release and I'll hit return. Oh, and I haven't put sudo in again, so let me correct that. And we can see that's done for us there. Perfect. So now I just want to ensure that I have some other things enabled in the repo. So I'm just going to paste this in here. Yum install, yum utils and y just to not prompt me for yes. And this, oh, again, I need to put sudo in here. And this should go off and fetch what we need. Okay, and we can see I already have it installed here, so I'm okay. So let's just make sure it's enabled for us as well. So I'm just going to type in sudo, and let me just paste this command in here. Yum config manager and enable the Remy PHP 7.1 repo. And this should do what we need to do, and it looks like it's good. Okay, so now we're just going to install the PHP package. So let me just type in sudo here again, and I'll paste this link in, and enable repo, php install php fpm and php common, and let me just click return here, oh, and I haven't put sudo in again, and this should go and fetch what we need, so I'll just pause the video here for a minute. And if you're prompted to select y for yes and hit enter, perfect. And again, just press Y and click enter. And this should go and fetch what we need for us. Perfect, and we can see this is completed. So there's one last command here that we're gonna get and it's going to install um, all the common PHP modules. Some of them we need for WordPress, some of them we don't, but we're just going to install them all here. And again, I'll leave a link below. So just copy and paste this command in and it should work for you, no problem. So I'm just gonna type in sudo. And let me paste this long command in here. So basically, we're just getting the PHP packages that we want. So let me click return here. And this should go and fetch. I was sure I put sudo in front there. Maybe I didn't. When you paste them in, I'll have sudo in front of them all. So you can just paste them as is. So this might take a minute just to do what it needs to do. So I'll just pause the video briefly. Okay, so if you're prompted, just press Y here and press enter to accept that you're going to download the packages. Excellent, and we can see this is completed for us here. So we should now have PHP installed uh, on our system. Okay, now that we've done most of our PHP bits and pieces, let's just get the WordPress package and get that bit out of the way now. So we're just going to use wget again here. So let me just copy and paste this link to the WordPress site. So I'm going to type in sudo wget and I'll paste this in here and wordpress.org and latest.tar.gz and just pop in your password if prompted and we shall download this. So I'll just pause the video here while this is downloading. Okay, so let's make sure that it's downloaded for us here and we can see latest.tar.gz is there. Perfect. So let's just move this into our what will be our Nginx web root. So I'm going to type in sudo mv 
space latest I'll just use tab completion to tab out USR share and drinks and then HTML grand stuff and now I'm just gonna CD into into there by doing CD USR share HTML oh, let me just hop in here oh, I forgot to put nginx nginx and then HTML perfect we're in here and now I'll just do ls and I can see my latest.tar so let's just run sudo tar minus zxvf and then latest.tar.gz and this will begin to untar it for us perfect so let's just click ls here and we can now see we have our WordPress directory, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna change a few permissions here. So I have a few commands on the clipboard, and I'll just paste them in. So the first one is I'm gonna give Nginx the owner of that WordPress folder and everything within that WordPress folder. So I wanna type in sudo chown, that's or, or for recursive Nginx, Nginx and the WordPress folder. And that's done that there. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to change the permissions by using the chmod command. And I'm just going to give it 755 and I'll type in sudo chmod r 755 and again on that WordPress folder. And I'm also going to disable SE Linux here. Um, I also have a video on how to disable SE Linux permanently and I will also leave a link for that below. So to do so I'm going to type in sudo set enforce and zero and we've now disabled se linux on this machine okay so next i'm just going to create my default.com folder in nginx so to do so i'm going to type in sudo by etc nginx conf.d and i'm going to type in default.conf I'm going to press I to go into insert mode and I have some stuff on the clipboard here that I'll paste in and I'll leave a link to where you can get this yourself if you need it. The most important thing to have here is that you put in your own IP address in server name here. So I'm going to press escape colon WQ to leave and I'm also just going to restart Nginx by doing sudo service Nginx restart. Okay, so we're getting there now, and next we just need to do some PHP FPM configuration changes. So to do so, I'm going to type in sudo phi forward slash etc forward slash PHP and FPM D and dub 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 conf. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our user and group away from Apache and we're going to change this to Nginx. So let's just have a quick search here for Apache and see if anything pulls up. Perfect, so we can see our user Apache and our group Apache. So I'm going to press I to go into insert mode. I'm going to type in Nginx here and I want to come down to group and I want to type in Nginx here too. So next we're going to change the listener owner and group also to Nginx. I'm going to press escape and I'm then going to search for Nginx by pressing forward slash and um, I'm going to search. So I'm going to search for listen. L-I-S-T-E-N and we'll see. Let's go N for next, N for next, N for next and we'll just find it here. Now. Okay, so we found them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press I again to go into insert mode. And let me just delete this here. And I'm going to get rid of the two comments here. The two semicolons. And I'm going to change the listen owner to Nginx. And I'm going to change the group also to Nginx. And then I'll press escape to come out of insert mode. And we're going to add one more line, which I have on the clipboard. So I'm going to come up here to underneath this listen here. I'll press I to go into insert mode. And let me just paste this in here. And paste in listen equals bar run php fpm php fpm dot suck. Um, I also have a tutorial on Vi, so I'll also leave that below. So if you have some issues uh, using Vi, give that a quick watch and it should be beneficial. So I'm just going to press escape colon wq for right quit exclamation mark and leave this file and then i'm also going to restart the php fpm service by doing sudo php hyphen 
FPM restart. No, oh, I haven't put sudo. I do a sudo. Oh, sudo service. Will this correct this? Perfect, and that's restarted. I'm also going to make sure that the PHP FPM service will start when we boot. So I'm just going to do sudo check config php hyphen fpm on perfect and i'm also just going to restart nginx while we're here just to be sure nginx and let's ensure nginx comes on as well by doing check config nginx on perfect so we have them done there okay so next i'm just going to open up firefox here and once Firefox is open, I'm going to navigate to the IP address of my machine. Grand, so this is open here. So let me just pop in 192.168.137.154. And remember to use your own IP address. So, okay, this looks good. So we're getting the WordPress installation screen. So I'm just going to leave it as English United States and I'm going to click continue. Okay, so we're going to get some things here that we need. So we can have a look at this. So we need the database name, a database username, a database password, and a database host. Okay, there's no worries. We're going to set all that up now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up my terminal again here. And I'm going to log into my MariaDB instance by typing mysql minus u root space minus p. And if you haven't installed MariaDB, again, check below for the link to that video and we'll show you how to do it. So I'm just going to pop in my password here. And the first command I'm going to type is going to be create database WordPress with a semicolon to finish it off. So I have a command here on the clipboard that I'm just going to paste in. So basically I'm going to grant all privileges uh, grant all on WordPress to WordPress user at localhost identified by password 123. And again, if this was a live system, you want to be sure to use a more secure password. So I'll just finish this off with a semicolon and I'll hit return. And I'm just going to go back up and just to be sure, I think I'll enter the IP address as well as my localhost. So let me just delete this localhost out here. And my IP address is 192.168.137.154. And I'll hit return. Well, let me just come down here and I'll close it off with a semicolon. Grant. And the last one, command I'm going to run here is just to flush the privileges just to keep everything up to date here. And let's finish it off with a semicolon. Perfect. And we've now done our MariaDB stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my WordPress uh, setup here and we're going to click on the Let's Go link. Okay, so our database name is WordPress. Our database username is going to be WordPress user. Our password will be 123. We'll leave the database host as localhost and we'll leave the table prefix as WP. So let's click Submit here. Okay, and it looks like we're good. So let's run the installation. And I'm going to pause the video. Oh, no, it looks like we're nearly there now. So let's give our site name. I want to call it Darren. Site username, I'm just going to say Darren again. I'm just going to put in a weak password as this is only a test site. Um, let's confirm the use of my weak password. I'm going to type in test at test.com. And I'm just going to click to install WordPress. So I won't remember this. And Let's see if this is going to take a while. Okay, and it looks like it's done it for us here. So I'm going to click log in. And I want to type in Darren. And my weak password. And we should be in here now. So that was how to install WordPress on CentOS 7 using the Nginx web server or the LEMP stack. Um, if you ran into any difficulty during this install, please do comment below. And if I can help, I can certainly will. Um, if you like this video, please do like it. And for more videos like this, please do subscribe. And if you have a video that you'd like made, please do comment below. And if I can make it, I certainly will make it. Thanks for watching.